Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to do another upgrade to the Taurus G2C Project Pistol. But real quick, I think there's a lot of newer people to the channel, so I'm going to bring you up to speed. So about a year ago, I bought my first Taurus G2C. I completely love it, as well as many of the other newer Taurus firearms I've purchased. If you're not familiar with my other videos yet, go back and look at my Taurus playlist or simply hit the search this channel. Just hit the search button for my channel and you'll be able to find all my Taurus videos. If you type in G2C project, you'll be able to find the first, I think, four videos I've done on this. So this is a G2C. It's in the cyan color. And previously, I've done a video unboxing it, which was pretty cool. I've also took it out for a first range trip. Everything was fine. It shot perfectly great, just like my other G2C, quite frankly. These have been awesome little pistols so far. And then I upgraded the trigger on it. And this is the Keep Tinkering SADA, which I really like, and I discussed that in a previous video. And I've also showed my Forge Tech OWB that has this super awesome combat loop clip on the back. These are handmade holsters here in Michigan. Great owner, great company. I love these to death. So definitely go back and look at my other Forge Tech holster videos if you're interested. So that kind of brings us to today. So I thought the next upgrade that I'm going to do is this Galloway Precision Recoil Spring and Guide Rod Assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and real quick tell you about this spring just a little bit. This is from Galloway's website. They say our Taurus guide rods are made from stainless steel and come pre-assembled at your spring rate selection. The recoil springs are made for us by ISMI, which is a leader in the spring market here in the USA to our specifications. Made on the same machines that make springs for Formula One and IndyCar racing. So looks like this will make your gun faster, right? Sounds good, doesn't it? Made exclusively with aerospace specification alloys. These springs are made to last and provide a more enjoyable shooting experience. So these better be good. Aerospace and race cars, all in the same sentence. Yeah, that's why I had to buy it, right? No, I've just been choosing upgrades that everyone's interested in. And many have asked about these aftermarket recoil springs. So they basically offer two options that come pre-assembled. Either the 16 pound, which that's what the factory spring is from Taurus. So when you buy it new out of the box, you've got a 16 pound dual recoil spring assembly so you can get it in the stock spring weight or the 18 and I thought well we already know what it shoots like with the 16 so let's test out the quality of this guide rod assembly as well as to see what the 18 pound spring does I'm hoping it's gonna make the recoil a little bit lighter faster follow-up shots although obviously these don't have a whole lot of recoil anyways it's always nice to lighten it up a little bit just because right or on the downside, possibly it could make the gun short cycle. I don't think that's going to happen, but that's the two possibilities, right? By changing the rate of the springs, making it a little heavier, in other words. So just keep in mind, this not only fits the G2C, but also the G2S, the Millennium G2, PT111 G2, PT111 G2C pistols. So basically, any of the G2Cs or its previous versions or the G2S because the G2S and G2C, remember, have the same exact slide. So keep that in mind. You're going to be good to go if you have some of those other models of pistols that are very closely related to this. So I'm going to take a quick look at it here. We're going to put it in. And then I'm going to do another video here very soon showing me actually shooting it to see if there's any difference. So right off the bat, everything's looking pretty good. We can see very highly polished there for the keeper on the end. This is the part you're going to see sticking out there or sitting flush with the front of the gun very high polished really looks just like a mirror you can actually see my computer screen in there so pretty cool right so i'm gonna go ahead and take this down real quick and we're gonna get to business i know this is a really hard install but let's just do a side by side comparison right so our stock recoil guy rod assembly it's made of a couple main pieces with two different types of springs with an end cap on the end. Now, the outer larger sleeve is steel, whereas the inner sleeve and keeper are polymers. So this is made of two different types of materials, which in my opinion is fine. I mean, look at Glocks. Those are polymer guide rods, right? They're probably one of the most durable guns 
that were ever made. So it's not that there's anything against it being polymer, but in all fairness, many people would consider it an upgrade to go from a half polymer assembly to a solid stainless. And also keep in mind, the guide rod material on the OEM one is more of a regular steel, a ferrous model, if you will, where this is all stainless. So we're going to see right off the bat, totally different in look. There's some kind of black surface coating or paint or oxide or something like that on the OEM where this is going to be solid silver. So we can clearly see the difference. Now, according to Galloway, they're making the springs out of better material and they're getting sourced from race car companies, aerospace. So, yeah. Rev your engines, boys. We're going to be going a lot faster. I <laughs> uh, hope you don't believe me, but hey, it's always good to have fun. I mean, especially we're doing a guide rod video. You have to make it interesting, right? So I'm going to throw this in there. Right off the bat, I'll tell you what. It's only two pounds. I think it just snagged a little bit, but I had to push significantly harder to get it to go in. But it looks like it went in place here just fine. See that mirror shine? So it is going to change the look. Of the front of your slide there and your firearm a little bit and let's see let's see if I can notice a difference right off the bat here oh yeah definitely I don't even have to think twice I definitely notice a little more resistance it's harder to pull it back than it was previously snapped forward Wow so Slight possibility, if this is too much pressure, it could cause the gun to short cycle, not properly eject. I don't think that's going to happen. But on the plus side, like I said, it could lessen the recoil some, certainly, which is not only going to make it where there's faster follow-up shots, but keep in mind, these guns seem to be good to go. I've shot tons of rounds through this first one, and I'm already racking, out a, racking a decent amount of rounds up through this pistol. I mean, this already has hundreds, where this is up to where it has thousands. They seem like good guns, believe it or not. They really do. Don't let the price fool you on these little Tauruses. But, as with any fire armor, with any piece of machinery, every time it moves and cycles and does its thing, you're technically wearing things out. Well, by having this extra spring power, the slide's not going to come back with as much force, and it might prolong the life of the firearm too. So, I'd say that's a couple advantages to this. Maybe a little bit less felt recoil, which again, one more time, these don't recoil much. But hey, that's for an adult. Man, there might be a younger child shooting this, supervised safely, of course. Or you might have a woman that has a little bit smaller hands. God bless you women out there that are carrying. We got to have our women protecting themselves. A lot of times we're at work, there our children are with them, you know. So since so many women use these guns, this may be something that easily mitigates recoil for someone with just a little bit weaker hands, a little smaller person, you know. So I think this is going to be promising. I'm definitely going to take it out. I'll shoot a couple different types of loads with it. Probably some plinking ammo just to see. And then maybe put some plus B. Something like that in there and see. Because you can definitely notice the difference in these little handguns. Shooting just like 115 grain full metal jacket cheap range stuff versus a plus P. I've certainly noticed it anyway. So let's see how plus P does with this. Well, it's looking good so far. And by the way, right now... This is on Galloway's website. It looks like these are going for 35 bucks with uh, free shipping, I believe. So there you go. These aren't exactly cheap, but if it's a good upgrade, then definitely could be money well spent. You can see right there, there's a perfect view of the inner and outer rods that are both stainless with that high polished keeper on the end that keeps it all connected together. So yeah, look at that. Really nice. All right. This is one of the upgrades you guys have been asking about. I know there's a couple brands that make these. I've kind of been alternating back and forth. I try to keep tinkering prod product recently. We're going to go Galloway this time. Of course, Forge Tech with their holsters. Their G3 holster, this holster. I've been very impressed. All right. Well, I've been enjoying doing this project. Thank you for those of you that have helped. Some of you have donated on Patreon and other ways. And this is completely fan funded, guys. I have not been... And I don't mean you guys are fans, I'm just using the saying, you know. But hey, look, I've not taken any money from any manufacturers. I'm sure I could say, hey, will you give me a guide rod for a favorable review? And somebody might send me one. But I've not done that, and I'm not going to do that for this project. Everything I'm buying with my own money, with help from you guys. So these are going to be completely honest reviews. I've got no ulterior motives. 
nobody's giving me free product and nobody pays me to do any reviews and certainly not on this so that's the way I want it to be and those of you that again have helped out just a little bit for me to get these parts and upgrades that's the reason we're able to do this and we've all had a lot of fun so I'll be back very soon with another range video on this one and probably like I usually do I'm gonna end up shooting this one again too just because why shoot one GTC when you can have two because they're just that much fun. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good one.